Hello everyone, I'm Monsieur Mokulever, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as France. So, it's March 1st, 1939, and right now, we are out of infantry equipment. We need quite a bit of it, and the Germans and the English, or the British, have signed a mutual military assistance pact. Respect each other's sphere of interests. Uh, not... All may be surprised to see this development after the German Reich's increasingly pro-British rhetoric in recent months, but the terminology of the treaty has taken many experts aback and even led some to issue warnings for what, could, for what it could mean to Europe. So now they're allied. They're... God dang, this is not going to be good for us. At least Italy's not in the Axis, and they cannot join the Axis. Because, uh, yeah, they were not abandoned by the... They had to be abandoned by the Germans for them to basically go Italy first. They could go after me, but this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a huge problem for me. I'm going to have to defend the mainland as best as I possibly can. And, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. We need to basically guard the coastline as fast as we possibly can. Of course, guard against the Italians. And we guard against the Carlos too. Oh, we're out of manpower, too. Hmm. France? Not that easy, I guess. Really not that easy, especially when you have a civil war that really sets you back very early on so we still have an inefficient economy we have full employment which is good uh can i raise my conscription level no and of course the game doesn't let you raise your conscription level because you have to be fascist or communist because that makes no sense all right so be it so be it hmm more political power sounds good let's krieg military theorist that's not that's not too bad um there's no one here that gives me more Recruitable population, of course, which is quite unfortunate. So be it. So be it. We need more guns. We'll need some more support equipment because I need to put engineers on our divisions. Yeah, that's not a lot of population, to be honest with you. That's pretty bad. What can I do? We need more war support. Mm, definitely need more war support. But there's really no, there's almost nothing that I can do. I'm just going to grab some workhorse to get more political power, I guess. But, I mean, I have no manpower. Which is pretty garbage, to be honest with you. Pretty darn garbage. Well, I could do something like that, and then that. But, that really doesn't save much on anything. Ah, we have full employment. we got to get rid of full employment. That will be important to do. Because I, I need these divisions. I have to have these divisions out. Uh, the tanks are looking okay. They're not great. They're not bad. They're not too bad. Cool. And we're trying to finish up and get another research slot, which would be good. But, uh... Support that. More military factors would be nice. Industrial expansion. Let's see. If we go down, go all the way down here. Oh, stimulate the dynamic market. That'd be good. Protect the rights of man. Economic devaluation. Freedom front. More fascism instead of democracy. Restoration. Guarantee the constitution, which is good. More daily political power and weekly stability. That's very nice. Counteraction. Slum clearing, public welfare, no further humiliation. Is there not a way for me to remove um, full employment? That seems like a really bad thing. Oh, we can actually review foreign policy eventually. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can't. Oh, has not completed invite focus. Has not utilized. Oh, I, I can't do that one. That's okay. That's okay. Whatever. Um, invest, in metro, invest in metropolitan France. Yeah, there's no way for me to get rid of full employment. I mean, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. And who's justifying on me? The Reich is justifying on us. Which is not good. Mm, I'll remove victors of the Great War. Yeah, that would be good to get... Uh, I guess we don't have that. Oh, another military factory. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we have plenty of guns now. All of a sudden, we have plenty of guns. Okay. Well, let's make sure we get enough support equipment as well, because I need engineers. And are you manually justifying, or is this, like, some sort of focus? Uh, demand the Sudetenland. Well, that's actually kind of weird. they That's a little early. Now, if... What we have to hope for is that Austria refuses to d give up the Sudetenland and go to war with Germany. If they do that, I will join on the side of the Austro-Hungarians, which will, of course, pull the great British in, the British in, which is, you know, honestly, if they're going to go to war with us anyways, we might as well do it now, 
We should be okay defending the mainland. We should be. Should. But, uh, let's see. Because they went with Consolidate the British Isles, Unite the Anglosphere, they eventually will go to war with the United States, which is good for us. And potentially against Japan. And they have to go to war with a whole bunch of other different people, too. And unfortunately, we still only have three research slots. Now, it is 1939. Let's get some better artillery. Austria-Hungary, please, refuse the German demands. Yeah, we're going to lose Syria. We're going to lose eh, probably northern Africa as well. That's not good. How many places, how many divisions do I need to garrison this? 17? If anything, I'll, I can abandon North Africa if needed. So, uh, there is that idea. Actually, who's guarding this? Division Colonial. That's not bad. We could lower this by one to make it a little better. Throw on some engineers to make them really quite a bit more defensive. Got a little bit more manpower. Train at least one division at a time. Come to Toulon. Make it two. Yeah, we're really out of manpower. This is pathetic. This is terrible. Wait, what? what's going on with this? Not enough manpower. Oh, we need support equipment for garrisons. Yeah, that makes sense. But resistance shouldn't be rising because of that. I mean, engineers really don't give you any more suppression. That's what military police are for. Um... Ah, good. Okay, the UK went to war, Great Britain, went to war with Ireland. Good, good. Well, I guess that's good for us. I'm really thinking we need to go with a defensive focus, though. Firepower kills. Get more artillery, infantry stuff. I think that's probably the better way for us to go instead of methodical battles. Well, even though construction speed could be pretty good. Oh, extend the Magnet line though. Mm. Air dominance sounds nice. Battle of maneuver. Close air support focus. Well, that's all nice and dandy, but uh, actually, what is that one? Last few victories of the Great War. Whatever. Let's go with Orleanus Restoration. The House of Orléans commands considerable support amongst the royalists in France. While some detractors would prefer a different candidate for the throne, there can be little doubt that the Orle Orleanist heir has the best chance to peacefully unite the country behind him. More daily support for Unaligned, and we will be known as France. I didn't know we would be known as France. Okay, cool. Uh, get some more engineers. I want to make sure that we have max entrenchment by the time the war starts. Getting an okayish amount of support equipment. Need more, 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 more. Uh, for now, do that. I will pull off some of these lines, but I need, like, maxed out support equipment right now. Oh, I did want to use anti tank, but eh. Anti tank, artillery. Artillery right now is more important. As long as they don't invade Belgium too soon, that'd be good. Now, Austria, you have to tell them no. And Ireland, well. I'm expecting a lot of resistance here in Ireland. A lot of resistance. 1.4. Should go just straight up. I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be like a very early version of the IRA here. Just like, Irish Republican Army, come on out. We need you. <laughs> uh, what, what else are the is Great Britain doing? Spanish monarchy restored. How good for them. Ceylon op forward operating base. Cultivate fanaticism. Okay. Now, we have to be prepared for the Carlos too because um, they, want, they have claims on the French throne. I've really put myself in a bad position here. Settle the succession question. So, Carlism. I don't know what the Carlist Spain path is like, but it should be interesting, we should say, at the very least. Where are you guys at? You guarding, guarding against Belgium. Prepared defense, good. Uh, more breakthrough and soft attack. That's always welcomed. Always welcomed. Oh, yeah, we have five research... Four research slots. Four. We can get a fifth one later on. Partial mobilization would be good to go to. I don't know why you have to be fascist or communist to do that. It makes sense that if you're a democracy, you can't do that. But that makes no sense, even though we are still a democracy for now. Uh, what do we want? Military theorists probably would be pretty good to do. Even though I would... Uh, partial mobilization. We can build things faster. Screw it. Let's do it. Build, build, build. Oh, more military factories. Just keep building. Canada seeks immediate patriation. Good. Good. Oh, look! The Maple Leaf flag. Daily autonomy gain. Defense of Canada regulations. 
conscription and crisis among French Canadians in the Great Depression. Hey, they have a little bit more stability. We're very similar war stability and war support. How strong are these guys? Up to a million? Well, that's, that's, that's a lot more than me. The Germans have less than a million. Huh. That's not too bad. Oh, wait. Are they supposed to go to war with the enemy? Oh, they... Oh, Austria. Why did you give it up? You just made them stronger. That's a disgusting Austria now. Oh, disgusting. Uh, radar could be very useful. Uh, get some more cap. Let's do that. I really hate being limited in manpower because there's really not much you can do. Hmm. Does any of this give us manpower? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. I can change my own faction. That's kind of cool. Air focus? Nope. Naval rearmament. So we are basically at the mercy of when we go to war with someone. That's pretty much it. Good. We need that. Supplies. We're doing really well in support equipment now. Uh, this could hurt us. Actually, most of you guys... I'm only mostly just going to be using infantry for now. Actually, how big is anti-tank? That's not bad. Anti-air. I want anti-air support companies as well, but for now, since we're, I'm focusing extremely hard on the defense, we have to do that. That's really best. Daily support for unaligned is going to come online very, very soon. Ah, the Moss 38. Good. Planes. Yeah, planes are important. They'll be really important. Let's get some more radar first, though. Good. Keep building up military factories. That's very bueno. Interwar armored cars. Am I making any armor armored cars? Actually. Ah, look. That flag is back. Can I throw on... Uh, do I, need, I might have to research armored cars. Uh, so armored cars do give you a little bit more suppression. Huh. Two and a half. Cavalry just gives you flat two. Two and a half. Armored cars. Maybe I should get an armored car. I need military police, though. Hmm. Good. Industrial expansion. Uh, more weekly stability sounds pretty good. More daily political power gain. The king, while imbued with considerable power, must never be seen as a tyrant or an absolute ruler of the old kind. Instead, a modern monarch must respect the law and be the first line of defense against those that would usurp power illegally. Absolutely. <sighs> I don't want to, like... Oh, okay. The U.S. wants to limit naval rearmament. Our recent efforts to build a larger fleet, which I haven't really been doing, have propelled us among the ranks of major naval powers. The U.S. clearly feels threatened by our expanding fleet and has sent a delegation to our capital to negotiate a mutual arms limitation treaty. This treaty would be modeled on the Second London Naval Treaty and restrict the size of our capital ships, as well as our limit our oversized fleet size and capital ships to not exceed the fleet of Great Britain. Pfft. Oh, did you see what they're doing? They're being aggressive. They just took over Ireland. No. Hell no. Are you kidding me? Tell that to the British. <laughs> we got that complete. We got that complete. We got that complete. That's pretty awesome. Austria. You wanted to reunite Austria-Hungary. Now you just basically cucked yourself, man. Let's do Spain next. We're doing well in factories, which I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about. Let's get some radar close-ish to the front line. We'll probably need some in Brittany. Jean III claims the throne of France. Beautiful. And we'll probably need some down here, too. Lots of radar. Make sure we have enough radar to cover most of the uh, country. Oh, a little bit of manpower, but it's just because it's a new month. Now, World War II is supposed to be starting a breakout this month. But obviously it's not. Second, v Second Vienna Award. You know what? We do have a historical on, so hopefully, hopefully, they can go straight with war to with the USR. That would be fun if they did. No! My agent was captured. We must mount a rescue operation. No. Uh... Intelligence. Operation. Ah, she was a linguist. Ah, rescue operative cost and risk. That's routine. Good. Which means operate bonus outcome. Zero percent. And this... Oh, there's a white piece. We have the support equipment that we need. Oh, we got quite a bit of support equipment. Nice. Yeah, now we're just lacking manpower. I have to keep a good amount of manpower and or political power in reserve so I can immediately go to extensive conscription once we go to war. So I really have to keep a little bit in at all times. Second Vienna War, we'll see how long this lasts. Well, I guess Austria Hungary, they lost the Sudetenland, but they got a portion of Transylvania back. I guess that's a trade off. 
ships. I'm completely ignoring ships. There's no reason for us to get ships. Medium tanks sound pretty good to me. Since we're, we are building up our own factories, which is good. A lot more factories. Lots more. Good. Ah, advanced machine tools. Awesome. Hmm. Ah. Oh, we already have military police? There you are. Just a little bit more suppression. I'm not even using this division. Um, yeah, I don't even need recon on these guys then. Oh, I need mobile. There you go. 12 suppression, not bad. What are we using for resistance then? Have a cup of uh, good old coffee here. Some French coffee. Cost per division. There you go. That should be better. Because that's going to be our... Oh, God. There, there goes that. There goes the manpower. Oh. Yeah. So this isn't too bad. 10 combat width. 12 suppression. Treaty of Krajowa. More constituents have been formed or forced on the kingdom of with Romania with Bulgaria reclaiming south, southern Dobrujia. Interesting. Romania is not really having a good time whatsoever. Oh, I could throw on even more recon? No. No, I can't. Nothing would give us more recon. Oh, recon. I need suppression. I was looking at suppression the entire time. It would, nothing would give us more suppression. Interesting. Interesting. Political power. War propaganda against Japanese. Let's do that. That sounds pretty good for me. I think that'll be important. Get enough political power so, or war support so that when we're defending, we'll be okay. Ah. Oh. Very good, my friends. Very good. Some activity has been noticed. I'm going to send Kirchner back out to, to Deutschland, to Germany, so we keep an eye on what's going on. Good, 34%. Keep you here just because there is some activity going on. Defending against enemy operatives. Alright, Germany, what are you doing next? Reassert Eastern claims for citizens of the state. Good. Alright, so the rest of this tree, it's okay. It's not really important to do yet. You can create the anti-fascist block, but uh, we can wait on that. Rights of man, stability, output. Output's great. Military construction speed can be great, but for 70 days, it's not really worth it. That stuff can wait as well. Industry, industry, or even stuff down here. Why does it take so long to get down to army reform? That's a bit ridiculous still. Mm. For now, mm, alsace Lorraine. Oh, adds two civilian factories to metropolitan states previously invested in. So you get four now, or we can get... Six. Did we say previously invested in more resources? I want that research slot, so let's do Metropolitan France. Le Metropole should always come first. We can start by improving our infrastructure to create jobs and enact faster troop deployals. Yeah, honestly, these focuses, they're okay. And I don't expect it to be overpowered or super great, but you know, I wish it was a little bit more. Uh, keep making military factories. Right, not there. Right there. At least get one. Good, you're making another one. Awesome, good. I really need more planes. Oh, we had scout. We said we have scout planes going on right now. Yeah, we're still scouting stuff out. A lot of air recon. Um, what does this even say? Good detection. Good detection so far. They really want to kill off Poland. Is anyone guaranteeing Poland? Okay, so they're being guaranteed by the British. Now that's interesting. Now, because the Germans, they're allied with the British, so they go to war. Will Britain honor the claims of defending Poland and break the faction alliance? Or will Britain just decide to take the, a huge stability hit and say, sorry, we lied? That's interesting to think about. I'm not really sure. Ah, boy, Eugene the Third. Ah, weekly stability. Our stability is just going to go straight up, which is awesome, so we don't have to spend political power on improving worker conditions. The Reich claims Mimel. This is one weird world war world that we're in. There's no war yet. Well, unless you're over here. Oh, India's still there. Chinese United Front. Yeah, the Allies are dead. The Axis it looks. <laughs> what world do we live in? Where the UK basically joined the Axis. Oh, that is one messed up world. Dismantle the Magnet Line. Unleash La Kalul. Kalgul. Rally the leagues. That's really no. There's no point to do that. 
military advisor? I do want to keep a good amount in, but I don't think we'll be at war really soon. So I think it'll be okay. Cavalry, that looks okay. Commando, I already looked at this a little bit earlier. Ground support's not bad. Nothing for defense. Nothing for military defense, except for this guy. 5% more defense. And we, we only get 1.2 thousand more manpower every month. C come on. There should be at least some sort of national focus. Especially if you go like monarchy or another direction. Where you can just get like more manpower somehow. Or raise conscription. Like it doesn't make any sense. Why can only fascists and communists raise manpower or, you know, conscription levels? But anyways, we need a stronger industrial presence at home. We have plenty of labor ready, but we need more factory lines. Absolutely. Look at that. That's not enough. We need more military factories. Well, actually, we, we're okay on military factories. What we really need, like I said, is manpower. It's almost 1940. So, that's 1941 stuff. Engineers are good. Recon's pretty good. I might... You know what? Let's do field hospitals. I Since we are very limited on manpower, we need to make sure we keep every man alive as best as we possibly can. Empty tank. Do that eventually. Um, oh, military police too. That helped with even more suppression, which is great. Land auction. It's almost 1940, so just go ahead and do this. Improve computing machine. Oh, another division. Great. We probably can't make too many of those guys. What we find against the Italians. What are the Italians doing? They're doing carrier effort. Oh, they're justifying on Yugoslavia. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Oh wait, I'm guaranteeing them? Hmm, I don't remember that. Well, if that's the case, if it's just a war between me and Italy, uh, that could be much worse, actually. I mean, they have way more manpower. We'd be in a defensive war. And we should be able to raise our conscription level. Hmm, I'm feeling okay about that, actually. Toad, anti-tank, keep making that. I don't want to put on my divisions just yet. Now, we won't be able to bust through here. I might try a naval invasion, actually, with using these guys. Or even using these guys. I might try to invade Sicily first. Or try to... Well, we might try to blow up the enemy navy first, actually. All right, let's grab all you guys. Who are you? You guys are okay. Oh, you're subs. Mm, but we have no planes. That's a big thing to remember. You guys all come down here. You guys all come down to there. And everyone else is going to hang out. Yeah, just hang out there, guys. I'm glad I looked. I'm very glad I looked. These infantry divisions... Pretty beefy, boys. Pretty beefy. 1940. Get some artillery. Yeah. You know what? We could save... You know how we can save a little bit more? On manpower? Make more artillery uh, equipment. And, oh, that's probably more than enough. Convert the divisions to use 7 2 instead of 10 infantry battalions. Good. So we can probably take that out and then throw in a little bit more artillery. Now it's going to cost us quite a bit. But that does give us a little bit more manpower, which is nice. Oh, wait. Uh, was that the division I even wanted to. Um, Colonial. Oh, yeah, that, that is the one we wanted to work on. That goes our manpower, whatever. Engineers are important. And we're pretty much out of army XP. God dang it. Mm, now we have a big old deficit of artillery. That's okay. I'm thinking of any sort of way that we can improve our manpower amount. Any, or any sort of way. You guys are looking pretty green. How much longer until they go to war? Oh, they... They're befriending them. Uh, spend a little bit of time training. Ah, industrial expansion. Good. Even more factories. But let's grab another research slot. So, promising young minds are popping up everywhere. We need to supply them with the facilities to conduct the research. Advances in technology can give us the edge where we most need it. Awesome. Now we have five research slots. Oh, we can continue to build more stuff. Glorious. Oh, radar. Yeah, definitely get that radar in there. That's going to be important. And then more mil military factories. We'll probably be at war very soon, so it'll be good. Keep training you guys for now. You guys are okay. I don't want to hurt my equipment production levels. You guys are okay as well. 
You guys, well, you are who you are. Keep you guys down here. There you go. Very nice. You guys are good. Uh, go roll. Do you have anything for us? Nope, that's okay. A little bit more manpower, not very much. Create a collaboration government in that area. That's Marrakesh. Huh, not bad. We barely use any like divisions to help garrison this area. Nice. Uh, do we have martial law anywhere, or is it all just civilian oversight still? Just want to make sure. It is 1940. It's weird without World War II starting yet. Like, Germany, you were doing research Eastern Claims. Um, Germany, what are you up to? For the Rex... You haven't, like, taken anyone over to even form one of those things. Boost, Hungarian Aviation Department. And we are, within 20 days, probably going to go to war. Good to know. And that's not good. Now, even though... Italy has been kicked out of the Axis. They might... Is it possible for them to still join? Because even though they can't do the focus here, would it be possible for them to do that? Good question. I'm not really sure. But let's see what happens first when they go to war with Yugoslavia, and then we'll probably end the episode there, maybe? Maybe not? It just depends on how the war might turn out. Defoldi. Citron. We're going to need some of that. We will have Grand Assault very soon. Artillery is looking actually pretty good. 11 a day is awesome. Point two, definitely need more fighters, Jesus. Definitely, 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 definitely need more fighters. Oh, medium tanks. I can make medium tanks. Hmm. Throw one on there to help save supplies for now. There you go. Lots of political power, I like it. Can't do that, can't do that. Can I lower my focus export, limited exports? Uh, Resource-wise, we're doing okay, really, so we don't need to do that. Grand Assault. Infiltration for more leg infantry breakthrough organization. Armored car recovery rate organization. Supply consumption, I like, I like that one. Land night attack. Not bad, Re if you do recon, you get more recon. Assault. Max planning, organization, army breakthrough. Ooh, which one is better? I don't know. Because this just gives you leg infantry breakthrough. Because that, while that's great and you get less supply consumption, you can always throw on logistic, com logistic companies and that'll be okay. And this recon gives you just plus one. If you get like motorized recon, you get like plus like 4.5 or something. So really, I'm thinking that army breakthrough for the entire army, that's pretty good. I'm going to go with assault. Which is probably the wrong idea. But maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. See what happens. And I'm making a lot of military factories now, which is good. Keep... I need to get synthetic refineries, too. Uh, build in the Alps. I want it in a more central locations where it can't get invaded from any sea area. Ah, support the Grandes Ecoles. Good. Military factories, that's okay. Let's start focusing on this a little bit more. So, methodical battle. Well, or... Uh, Extend the Maginot line. I'm thinking I need to do that. I'm thinking I have to do that just because I'm a little worried about France and Italy. Because we're not that strong. And this just gives you blueprints. So, and you can almost always produce enough infantry equipment. But let's go with Defensive Doctrine with Methodical Battle. Let's try that. So, In times like these, it is best to strengthen our defenses. If there are threats, let them come to us so that we can deal with them on our own land. We have a perfect candidate to lead our army. All we need is your word. And yes, I know some people probably won't like that, but c'est la vie. It is what it is. Uh, radar. And then we'll do some more uh, nuclear stuff. The Banovia, Banovina of Croatia. So, the start of a Yugoslav... Oh, buddy boy. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. Just in case things go south for me, I'm going to end the episode here. So, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We haven't done too much, but we did become Orléans France. We have Jean III leading us. We have a pretty okay, decent amount of industry under us, which is awesome. The Kingdom of Spain is, re is here. The, basically, UK, Great Britain, joined the Axis, and they are slowly, slowly...
becoming more of a war machine. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we have one heck of a weird time. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.